Humans discovered technology to make people's lives convenient, safer and sustainable. It has revolutionized the world and continues to change people's daily lives at every second. Winning the technological consumer has become the primary goal of modern day engineering. As engineering theories progress, it has become overwhelmingly clear that it is the materials that hold the key to the future of engineering. The University of Moratua, being the most prestigious and the most sought-after technological university in Sri Lanka, took the initiative to establish this trend-setting interdisciplinary academic field, linking Sri Lankan engineering education with the technology innovators of the world. The Department of Materials Science and Engineering of the University of Moratua is the pioneering academic institution in Sri Lanka that provides world-class research and knowledge-driven expertise in the field. The department has a future-oriented mission of becoming a center of excellence in materials science and engineering with a highly qualified and dynamic group of academic and technical staff. The department is dedicated to produce competitive experts to the industry. The history of our department spans over 45 years now. In the past 45 years, we have produced more than 1,000 graduates who are employed all over the world. Some are working as engineers, some are working as researchers, some are scientists and many others working as managers as well. Our department conducts a four-year engineering degree program in material science and engineering, which has obtained Washington Accord accreditation. This accreditation recognizes our degree, which facilitates the students to be recognized all over the world. The department conducts an internationally accredited bachelor's degree program in engineering and high-quality research-oriented postgraduate programs of master's and doctoral degree level. It also offers expert solutions and consultancy to both the public and private sectors, contributing to the advancement of the national technological strength. The high-quality degree programs ensure that the graduates are highly capable of exceptionally contributing to the next level of industrial development, especially in the areas of material design, product design and manufacturing, process optimization and quality control. We employ uh, materials engineers in uh, three major uh, sections in our operations. One is the product R&D product development, uh, where the materials and, and development of new, uh, looking for new materials and, and uh, uh, the combinations of those that uh, improve the performance of our products. Then we have the uh, in-process materials and manufacturing process where the various uh, material engineers have various roles uh, to support us in that. And then we have the material testing and quality control. So all the incoming materials we need to test, we need to validate, we need to work with our suppliers on uh, developing the best possible materials that go into our products. The primary reason why the graduates of the department are highly sought after for specific purposes is the comprehensive curriculum offered with professional practice. While the basic concepts and principles are introduced in the first two academic years, in-depth knowledge and practical training is given with regard to engineering materials such as polymers, metals, glasses, ceramics and composites etc. from the third year. The student-centered learning environment ensures that the students are well equipped with exceptional knowledge as well as practical training needed. The undergraduate program is carefully designed in consultation with all stakeholders through the Department Industry Consultative Board 
in such a way that the students are provided with the expertise necessary to become the model changers at the next level of the local and global industrial development. Material science and engineering provide us with a platform to study and understand the materials not only at macroscopic level but to microscopic or nano or even to atomic levels. During my school days, I had a dream of becoming a scientist one day. I was inspired by gazing upon great scientists and their great work. So when it came to my field selection, it was quite obscure because I wanted to do something that I would love doing for the rest of my life. Then I was first introduced to the Department of Material Science and Engineering and I knew this was going to be my first choice of preference because this undergraduate program is quite capable of exposing you into interesting fields like electronic materials, nanotechnology and biomaterials and many more which are leading the global technological advancement. In the final year, the students conduct a high quality and pragmatic research project demonstrating how they intend to address real-life problems in the industry or professional research. The department also holds the annual research symposium on materials engineering innovations for industry to showcase latest research work. For my final year research, I chose to make titanium dioxide nanotubes and we are trying to manipulate the properties of these nanotubes by changing the process parameters. And these nanotubes can be used in a wide range of applications, ranging from biomedical applications, sensors, supercapacitors, and also solar cells. For my final year project, I've chosen a project collaboration with industry, where I've worked on a project uh, to enhance the solubility of nichrome alloy. We have chosen a material uh, to enhance the solubility on nichrome alloy. So we are extremely excited about what we are able to do uh, by this technology and these types of material processing. The department offers a comprehensive range of postgraduate study opportunities. From coursework based programs for master's degree in material science and master's degree in nanotechnology to research based degrees in master of philosophy and doctor of philosophy. We work with a wide variety of materials like semiconductors, graphene, um, carbon nanoparticles, uh, and different treatment methods as well. That's why I felt the need of understanding in depth about these materials, how they behave, and why they have a unique behavioral method. I think that's what made me to follow this master's program at Material Science and Engineering Department. The department has the best combination of advanced laboratory facilities and personal expertise in Sri Lanka in the field. The full benefit of the wide range of equipment is provided for experimental facilities to students and for research and industrial services. Equipped with exceptional technical skills, interpersonal skills and also the industry exposure, the graduates from the department thrive in their professional careers with a wide range of opportunities open for them from conventional manufacturing and services to modern high-tech industries. We always look uh, one cycle ahead, uh, meaning that we want to be uh, one step ahead of the competition. So that means we need uh, new knowledge. So I think uh, the materials engineers who are coming from the department has to bring, in fact, bringing new knowledge required for this particular you know, the aspect. So uh, they, uh, today they engage in different uh, functions like say the product design, you know, uh, controlling the product, uh, quality assurance, and also, you know, they uh, play their roles at different capacities in the company, like say, the, uh, as the junior engineers, senior engineers, managers, and also the, some of the, them are working in the uh, uh, strategic level, like, you know, the executive director category. The Department of Materials Science and Engineering thus offers a unique opportunity for the enterprising young undergraduate to build a solid foundation for an engineering career with a promising future to become a creator of creation who can harness all worldly resources for the betterment of mankind.